buddy, we're gonna take this wall back, push it back four feet. That toilet is gonna end up right there and this whole entire wall is gonna be all glass bricks. Whole shower wall right there. Scylla is, uh, is very strong and, and quite vulnerable. She is an extraordinary example of a young woman making her way in the world. This is Steve Chesky, to whom I was married for about five minutes. It was five months, Ella. Steve taught me everything I know about flipping houses. And a few other things. Steve and Scylla have a very good relationship. It's almost to the point where uh, they have more of a, a brother-sister relationship. And he's very supportive and very protective of Scylla. Steve, this is Fort Sawyer. Fort Sawyer? Yeah. The Fort Sawyer? <laughs> no freaking way. Fort here created the Prodigal series. He is the Prodigal. I think Ford's sort of a simple guy in his tastes and his likes and his dislikes, but he's also fairly complex in his interests. Uh, he's not just a country bumpkin. And I think she's kind of inverse. She's somebody who's had a very complicated life and is looking for that simplicity. Why are you doing all this for me? Because I believe you matter. The connection's beautiful. I think you know, he, she sees that he's a good guy, a, a really good, normal, down-to-earth guy. And also, they're both kindred spirits and the fact that they're both artists. I always think it's very hard to describe why two people are attracted to each other exactly, but what Nora Roberts captures in her novel are two interesting things about Ford. One is that he is a really nice guy, almost too good to be true, and the other is he appears on the surface at first to be everything she ran away from in Hollywood. But once she starts to understand his art and how he sees things and that he's an artist, he's not really just like everybody else, uh, she really starts to fall for him.